Hello, welcome to Electric Focus. And you may have ordered your EV already, or you may be about to order an EV, or you may even just be considering it. But what do you need to do to get ready? Well, I'm gonna give you five key tips before you get your EV. So let's get straight into the video. So you've ordered your EV and you're waiting for it. And sometimes it can be a long wait, which is really frustrating. But don't delay doing these things because they will help getting you ready for your first EV because it is different from what you used to in a petrol and diesel car. So follow these tips and you will be prepared for when your EV gets here. So first of all, number one, get to know your car. And what do I mean by that? Well, get to know its charging capability. So how fast can it charge at home? How fast can it charge on the road? So what's the difference between AC and DC charging? Maybe go back to the showroom and play with the infotainment system and understand how that works and perhaps have a look at some videos specifically online about your car that you've ordered. So the more you can do about that, the more comfortable you'll feel when your car turns up. So that's number one. Tip number two, if you're lucky enough to have off-street parking, then get your home charger ordered. And it's important, one, you get it ordered so that you can get it installed in time for your EV. When you get your EV, you can use the cable that comes with it and plug it into a three pin plug, but that's gonna take a long time to charge the car. Now you might have been recommended one by the car showroom you bought it from, but don't just go with that. Do a bit of research into the right charger for you. Maybe just the look of it, it's important to you is one thing because it's going on the outside of your house, but it's also the functionality and how that fits in with what you require and how your house is set up. You may have solar panels, and if you want it to work with solar, then there's only certain charges that work with that. So there's some different things you need to work out in terms of getting the right charger for you. Tip number three is to sort out your electricity tariff. So you may be tied into a tariff for one and you might want to look at coming out of that to get into a, an EV tariff. You may have exit fees to pay, so you need to check your contract, but also you want to look at the available EV tariffs out there and see if you can get them because with the energy crisis, some companies have pulled their EV tariffs and you can't even get them. I can tell you that Octopus, who are one of the most popular for EV tariffs, are offering Octopus Go and Octopus Intelligent, which are both very good tariffs to look at and have good off-peak rates, cheaper rates, that will make a big difference because you're going to be spending a lot more money on your electricity than you used to. And also it gives you the opportunity to move some of your non-EV based electricity to the off-peak rate as well. So you can make significant savings. So definitely check that out. It's a really important thing to do and don't leave it till the last minute. Tip number four is to get all the apps. So get things like ZapMap, which helps you find all the charges in the area. There's another one called plug share as well. And then when it comes to route planning, there's a really good one called a better route planner. And then I see some people use one called WhatsApp, which I've got as well. And I kind of use a combination of all of them because I find they've all got good features on them. But certainly get all the apps, have a play around with them and find the one that suits you best. You can also find things like free charging on things like ZapMap. So that may be useful, particularly if you haven't got home charging. So check that out for sure. And then the next thing to do is download all the ChargePoint operator apps that you can find. Look in your local area, for example, and see who your local charges are. Make sure you've got the apps for those, or perhaps you need to order the RFID card. So get that ordered in advance, because it's very handy to have those in your glove box. Get every single app downloaded, but also put all your details into those apps as well. And tip number five is, Get some charging practice in. You may have a friend who's got an EV and you can go out with them and have a go at charging on the go. So have a go at AC charging and also ultra fast charging and rapid charging. Have a go if you can. If you don't get the opportunity, when you first get your EV, even if you're charging at home mainly, just find a local charger that you can go down and have a go on. It just builds some confidence so that when you get to your first EV, you know what you're doing. The other thing to do is check out some of my videos, which I've got a few on different types of charges. So have a look at those. So in summary then, before you get your EV, these are my five tips. Get to know your car, order your EV charger, sort out your energy tariff, download all the apps and get all the RFID cards, and go out and have a test charge. So I hope that was useful. As always, thank you for watching. 
please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll speak to you soon.